We back on the Madone, man. I went ahead and got his brand new Xbox and I uh, built a Madden team. That's literally what I've been doing this whole weekend. Probably the last like four, probably like four or five days. I've literally just been grinding challenges, playing solo battles. And I built a 54 out of 50 Eagles theme team. It's, uh, it's took a lot of work. I have not played a lick of head to head with this team yet. Uh, I'm waiting to, you know, why, well, the team, where the team's at now, I can play some head to head with it. So. Uh, the streams will be coming back this week. We will be grinding the Madone. I didn't think I was going to be uh, playing Madden 24 again this year because, you know, with the whole thing, with the with the series ass bugging, and I was like, whatever. So I sold my, my whole team basically to my bro. And then, uh, you know, I did the research after I sold the team. Like, huh, all I have to do is get an Xbox Series X. So I went and bought it and just said, you know what? I'll grind this B&D team, you know, play this. For the, we might as well do i gotta do something I, I literally haven't played the game since i ain't been playing madden like i don't play anything else like i play rainbow here and there but i need the boys on for that so like if no one's on then i'm not playing anything so i literally have i played rainbow like i think once like the last three weeks so i literally haven't even been doing anything on the game i'm about to show you all the team man we're gonna be grinding a lot ahead playing this thing i'm glad i'll be able to actually play madden and you know like not have to lag every two seconds or not. i don't even know what to call it I'm, I'm gonna call it stutter i'm not gonna call it lag because it's not like internet related so stutter the stutters will be gone but we're gonna go through this thing just like the old days and break down the team that we got man you see we got the 54 out of 50 we got all our abilities you know it's uh it's not a bad team it's not very good but you know it's not bad uh qb1 you see we got we do have ring of honors mike vick this is why i spent most i think this is probably the most expensive player on my team i, I did it set for like 430 so that wasn't too bad but yeah he's my most expensive player I got everything on him. Gunslinger, Evasive, Gift Wrap, uh, Sefi Lead. Uh, I think it's Master Tactician. I appreciate that's what he gets right. Master Tactician. The Trust X Factor. Yeah, Master Tactician. That's what I got on him. So I'm not even all, all that for only 3 AP. I mean, that's lovely. Uh, running back, we do have Mr. DeAndre Swift. He is definitely the weakest. I'd say the weakest link out of probably any. Eh, maybe, I don't know if I say any starter, but definitely on the offense. He's definitely the weakest link. I just got Jukebox on him. I'm definitely going to be trying to get the Marco Mori because I've seen he's not even that much. But my first couple big purchases, I'm not going to lie, are all going to be on defense because that's a little bit more important to me. I am going to be running my ace offset on offense. And on defense, I'm going to run 3-4. I think that's what I'm going to run. I'm going to run my 3-4. Uh, so my wide receiver 3, Leggett, he's not even going to play. I'm not worried about him. He's just there for depth in case, you know, someone's got to tap out. They tired. They got to hit big time or something like that. Uh, Chris Carter is going to be starting for us. Free card. He's actually not, well, stat wise, he's not bad. I just got what I got. I got mid in the lead. He gets that for zero. So I got that on. But he's not really too bad. You see, 99 speed, six foot three. His route running, all that stuff is good. So he's on the team. It was a free card. All I had to do was play the challenges to get him. So that, that wasn't really too hard. Um, otherwise, starting wide receiver is going to be Matt Collins. But Matt's also pretty good, too. Six foot four. 98 speed all of the route running is over 95 so i didn't even have to use no strat cars to boost that or anything so max pretty good too i got mac for like 50k swift i got for like 20k vic was basically 430 so you know obviously i, I gotta spend a little bit on my qb i gotta make sure my qb you know has the proper abilities and stuff for the tight ends we got travis kelsey and we got jordan reed you already know jordan reed's free i can't believe the team captains actually have discounts now i think i got like third down threat for like zero on him it's trash but i got it on uh the reason why i got travis kelsey is because i actually got him for free i think it was through the comp pass i don't know if it, was, it was either the field pass or the comp pass one of them gave me like some aka pack i was going through it i was like out of all these guys who do i want i was like i'll take travis kelsey because i don't i didn't even have another tight end to pair with jordan reed so I went with Big Kels, got red zone threat on him for zero. I think he gets yak -em up X-Factor. I don't know which one's the good one. I don't know if it's yak -em up or rack -em up because one of them is really good and then one of them is like dog shit. So I don't know which one it is, but we got Big Trav. So we really got like we have weapons on offense. It's just the running back is not the best. And offensive line, it's like hit or miss. So we got Lane, you know, he got secure on him. He's good. Uh, free card we got robber hunt i got secure on him he was also a free card because i did my wild card wednesday challenges and got him for free so that was a big dub uh this jason kelsey dog shit so he's definitely gonna be a huge liability now thankfully he's at center you know you can help the center out by double teaming and doing stuff like that so we can help him out uh, i do have kevin Y maxed out but he's out of position so he should be a 98 but he's a 96 he's out of position uh we got identifier on him for zero he gets that and left tackle we got steve avelia i think that's how you say his name i got him for free i think from the influx field pass or the challenges i don't know they gave me a free 97 
Uh, I went ahead and picked him up. I got secure actually on him for three AP. He's also out of position. Uh, but I had the extra AP to spend it on, so I wasn't tripping. So I got secure on three out of the five. It's just my left guard and center don't have it. But if push comes to shove, if I have to, I can throw it on Kevin Mawai. I can free up the AP. So I'm just hoping I don't have to. That's pretty much the offense, though. Uh, it, you know, it's not bad. It's not It's not great. But I, I, I could definitely win some Super Bowls with this. I can make this work. Now for the defense. Now, the defense, I would say, I think most people would say, it's probably my backbone when it comes to Madden. That's where, you know, people probably that's probably my strong suit my defense so i would probably say my defense definitely has a little bit less talent but i can work around that because i just need to get guys in the right spots and things like that so uh but th th that's like i said that's where like a lot of my my first two purchases are literally gonna be i think kevin byard and omni awesome while like that's the plan so uh free safety though uh most of my saves are actually free the, i don't even know what promo this is hawaiian mexican dominican republic i don't i don't know what it is but it's some free players we got we got a guy named aloha uh gilman i think that's how you say his name i have no clue i got pick artists on him for zero and deep end zone kale for two i do not have mid zone on any of my safeties which is a, that's why i said my first two purchases will be nobby and kevin byard and i'm putting them at safety so uh but at least i got pick artists uh by the way i only have a couple of cheats i think out of this whole thing the only people that are not actually that don't get eagles came i think it's tj watt and i think it's just uh robert hunt and steve avilia but or i guess travis kelsey also but besides that everybody else has eagles came so it's still pretty strict but we do have tj watt like i said i'm around three four on defense so i think i'm gonna have tj watt rushing on somewhere in the interior uh probably i'm probably gonna have him with tj watt rushing over top the right guard that's the plan with him uh, John Madden will be playing for me. Haven't actually used this card, so I'm gonna get a chance to use him. Got Lyric Artist on him. He should be pretty good. Uh, I got Jeremiah Trotter as a free card from the draft. So I just put him in there for the chems because he got like two times chems. So I just threw him in there. Uh, you know, we got my boy Car Car. We gotta have him out there. Zero AP Lurk Artist on him. Six foot five. Or six foot five. I wish. Six foot eight. You know what I mean? 95 speed. He's gonna he's gonna go out there. He's gonna make something shake. So we got two big bodies in the box. He a little bit slower, but I can make it work. Strong safety. We got uh, uh basically Sydney Brown. I'm gonna be honest. It's basically Sydney Brown. We'll just say Sydney Brown. Uh, we got pick artist on for zero and deep end zone KO for two. Universal coverage X factor. I got on both of these guys, but it does not start on. I just I'm hoping I can get it on him because you know I me. Mean? You know I love my universal at safety. So. Uh, for the corners, though, it's definitely interesting. So we got Mr. Big Plays Slay, the 94 overall. Yeah, he's 96 speed, but I got him up to 97 zone. I'm getting that zone boosted a little bit. So uh, I'm going to have him playing on, like, the bunch side. And I'm going to have Quinion play on the solo bunch side. So, you know, okay, so let's say they come out in bunch. You got the bunch stack to the right. You got the solo receiver on the left. I'm having Quinion on that left. I'm going to have Slay play that bunch side. It'll, it'll just be a lot better. I'm basically going to treat Slay how I used to treat Asante when I used to rock Asante. So uh, we'll see what happens there. He only has deep out zone, Kale. He gets it for 2 AP. So there is no pick artist on him, sadly. But got to do what I got to do. Uh, Nate Wiggins is my corner three. But like I said, if I'm, I'm running three four. So I'm not actually going to use three corners. So he's just kind of there for depth and special teams and stuff like that so uh, i did pick up the right end to marco murray and yes he will be playing because this man has 98 speed and if you guys kind of seen how i run my three four a lot of times i can get the guy that's rushing in over top the right tackle a lot of times i can get him to sometimes come in free and with that 98 speed that is what we will be trying to do with mr demarco murray that is literally his only purpose because i mean I, I know he has some solid actual pass rushing stats but Man, if he gets caught on one of them linemen, his little ass ain't doing nothing. So if I could just get him to run and free, that'll be pretty lit. Uh, Refrigerator Perry, we do have Mr. Refrigerator Perry. So I got him for free. As you can see, I'm level 30 uh, with the series tokens. I used it to get Refrigerator Perry. Now, I know if I would have waited, I could have got Jason Kelsey for free. But I I rather wanted the fridge because of the momentum shift. I know the abilities, I got Lurk Artist to secure on it for zero. But I wanted that momentum shift. And yes, I'm spending 4 AP on it. But with this... I will never have to deal with angry runs. So you know what? I can deal with it. I'm going to have Fridge rushing over top the left guard. That's where he's going to be at in my defense. Uh, Jalen Carter. This man will be playing Jalen Carter. I don't have any inside stuffs right now because I don't have the AP for it because Refrigerator Perry is taking up all of it. But it is what it is because I'm seeing 3-4, bro, inside stuff. And it, it only works really, I feel like, over top the center. But I, I, I don't have the AP for it anyway. But yeah, Jalen Carter, he's going to play over top the center. The goal is to eventually put inside stuff on him. 
uh this but what is this guy's name bradley brad pitt i don't know what his name is but he's not playing he's just here he's a free card i threw him in there uh my last edge rusher i forgot to say it's actually nolan smith nolan smith is going to be rushing over top of the left tackle for me so that's pretty much the d-line it's uh nolan smith and demarco murray off the edge Jalen carter over top the center and then fridge and uh tj water my guys rushing over top the guards and our last guy here for the defense is mr quinion mitchell he gets deep out zone for one AP. Uh, I was able to fit that in there. So he's got some pretty good stats. There is no pick art. So I got pick artists basically on uh, both of my safeties, both my backers in the box. I got lurk artists. It's just my both my outside corners do not have catching abilities right now. But um, once we get Nobney and Kevin Byer, that is going to save me four AP. I'll get four AP back. So then I can actually put some catching abilities on. So that'll be the plan there. And I think I'll be able to throw inside stuff on Carter. So that's kind of the plan right now with the defense let's get these uh dominicans mexicans asians i don't know what they are get them out of here. special teams i gotta run through the whole thing because i got to i know i got to long snapper i have kyle pitts i kind of broke that down I, you want to have somebody fast at long snapper because if you're punting the ball it's just another fast guy to run down there on the the kick team so uh aaron said is the punter young hoku does get eagles cam uh, well, all these guys do so i got him in there he's actually got 96 kick power so he's definitely gonna be here for a little bit uh, Chris Carter's return man because he's the fastest person I have and I'd assume he's got to have a pretty good juke Swift's gonna be the main back. I got Carter a slot receiver, but I, I don't use the receivers uh, Carl Carl Michael John Madden those are gonna be my users the D-line you see how it is. It don't really matter uh, Strategies you already know I'm in spread playbook. I run Baltimore defense for my 3-4 I got the NFC playoff strat card because I know a lot of those strat cards don't work anymore But I remember this strat card always still worked. I don't know if it even is but if it is then cool uh, I got the Eagles times two cam. I got two plus uh, one zone strats. So I'm getting two extra zone on these guys, even though Slay is really the only person that needs it. Quinn, I don't even need it. So, uh, yep, that is pretty much the team, man. That is the budget team that I've been working on. We're going to be streaming this week, running it up with these guys and making the coins back. I'm just mostly excited that I'll be able to play Madden and not have to worry about that stupid stutter glitch that has basically tormented me my entire year playing mad 24 and not even that i'm just gonna be glad i'll be able to play mad and like you know like smoothly and not like just uh man it, it was such a nasty year playing this game and i didn't even know it for till like halfway through and i was like wow this is really what's going on well i didn't know what was going on but i knew something was going on i didn't know what and then i figured out like you know like a month ago like oh okay this is what's happening so uh yeah it should be pretty fun man and uh Hopefully we uh hopefully we don't get our ass kicked too much out there. I mean I know we're gonna I I don't really think we're gonna struggle. Like I'm be honest with you, like I think we'll be fine. Like offensively, like we got the weapons. Like and if push chuck comes to shove, like I said, if I gotta throw another secure on Kevin Mawai, I'll throw it on. I I really don't care. It's three AP, but I, I I can make the AP for it. Sadly, I say sadly because you know it's it's just nasty. We're spending three ap on a secure while well, i'm doing it on severely C where fuck his name is let me know down in the comments man what do you guys think about this team what do you think i should pick up first i was gonna say get kevin byard and Omni because that's gonna give me four that's gonna free up four ap on defense because i don't think i have to spend any ap on them because like i said i'm using universal coverage all game so that's kind of my game plan to you know go with the defense first but uh who would you guys pick up first and uh, the streams, like I said, they're going to be coming this week. So I don't actually have the Series X shit. I ordered it. I ordered it yesterday. I I, I would assume it's... I'm hoping it gets here tomorrow. But if I had to guess, it's probably going to get here Tuesday or Wednesday. So um, that's when I'll start actually playing and stuff. So till then, we just got to kind of wait. Uh, give me some recommendations. I'll probably still knock out some more solo battles or challenges. Whatever. I, I honestly... Look at these milestones real quick. These are all the milestones in the comp pass. I literally knocked out all this shit in solo battles. I literally just sat there and just, I put on a movie and I just knocked this shit out. Like it was the most boringest thing in the world. I'm, oh, uh, hopefully I never have to do this again. And for anyone that's wondering like, where did the team actually go? Right, like I said, right before, like I didn't want to stop playing Madden, but like that stutter glitch was like so bad that like I, I literally couldn't play a game anymore. Like it was like it would happen every game nonstop. So I just I sold my I literally sold my team to one of the homies, uh, gave him the coins and said, here, you have it. He gave me some bread for it. So I just stopped playing and I was like, I'll just wait till the next year. And then like after I did it, I decided, well, I want to do some research and I want to figure out like, why is it doing this? And I actually found like word for word, bar for bar, people that were having the same exact issue I'm talking about nonstop. And 
uh basically they were like yeah it's just like it's not the series s it's basically madness is coded very badly and the series s just starts bugging out like with it so uh it's not like it was the series s's fault but i had to basically get the series x so like I said, I got a thing on the way. I'm waiting for it to get here. And when it does, we will be streaming again. I would honestly say that was probably like the biggest thing I just did not enjoy about this madness year was just like, I always said the connectivity and all this stuff, but it turns out it really wasn't the connectivity. It was just this, sh this shit ass Xbox I had. It's crazy to think because besides that, I actually really like this Madden. I thought it was, you know, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it was the greatest Madden ever, but it was a, it was a good Madden. I, I definitely would say if I, Take all that extracurricular out of the picture. It's a pretty good man, in my opinion. I actually enjoyed it. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, man, drop a like and uh, hopefully we can uh, get the. I would like to start streaming tomorrow, but chances that are probably unlikely. Hopefully, it'll probably be Tuesday. But if you're not following the Twitch, definitely tap in with that so you don't miss any streams because we're definitely going to be grinding this thing like crazy. Uh, I'm probably not going to really do any daytime streams. It's probably going to be like my normal time streams, like, you know, after like six, probably around like six or seven Eastern. So that'll probably be the plan, but um, see you on the next one.